The NBC News has learned that President Trump will retain his longtime Manhattan attorney, Mark Kasowitz, as his private counsel on matters related to the Russia investigation. Now, Kasowitz has represented Trump for more than 15 years. He's mostly known as a litigator, and his website lists white collar defense as an area of practice. When the president threatened to sue the New York Times for libel over an article last year that featured two women accusing him of inappropriately touching them years ago, it was Kasowitz who wrote the letter to demanding a retraction, the retraction never happened. I like that signature. And when the Times published Trump's 1995 tax records last year, it was Kasowitz who threatened, quote, prompt initiation of appropriate legal action. Nothing ever happened either. Two other notes. Joe Lieberman, who is in contention to be FBI director, has been with that firm since 2013. Huh. And then there's this. The attorney's most recent high-profile case Defending Russia's largest state-run bank. I love this stuff. You know what's, in a so, civil lawsuit. what's so great about this, Mika, is that Trump makes it so hard yeah. to connect the dots. <laughs> he really does. I mean, seriously. There, you know, it's like you, you dig through all of this stuff and you wait for a smoking gun, and it's kind of like the end of Oliver Stone's JFK, where yeah. you know Garrison goes in and cries because with his wife, oh. it's it's all connected, honey. It's all connected. It's. I mean, it takes us forever. This is Trump. Right here, here. It's just yeah, kind of Hold on a second. <laughs> sad. Uh, yeah. Trump, Trump. It's so Trump sad. Trump here, yeah. Russia oh, over that's here. Sad. Yeah. He just makes it unnecessarily <laughs> hard on himself. It's I mean, what? So Why not you choose doing? somebody else? You know, there are people that don't work, you know, like that aren't like. And didn't he get some other firm that was like the number one rated law firm in Russia or something? They yeah. had it on their website. And yeah. even the Lieberman <laughs> element of it. Yeah. Why and even Lieberman. add that into it? Right. Do, we, do, do we have that tweet? That, I mean, it, I just here. Let me see if we have that thing here because we're not on TV no. here. We're it's, just kind of um, all don't the time do it. We need. I, we what got, are you doing? We got I three got, hours. I got three hours, okay? Don't tweet. Here, no, no, I'm not tweeting right now. What? I got to show you this picture, though, that Jack did of JFK, <laughs> uh, of LBJ giving the Pope a bust of himself back in 64. But look at that. I, I hope. Oh, yeah. I hope, can you do that, Joe? You're going to have There we go. Oh, 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 just get right there. Look at that. Huh? Lieberman? Huh? So I'm not the sure Russian what's guy? your point just to be here, well, my point is, you. this is an advertisement. They're at the same firm. I mean, and, and he's got the same guy defending him uh, at the same firm with Joe Lieberman, a good guy, but who's been working at the same law so, firm so since what 13. Is it? I mean, is it just consistent loyalty above yes. personnel yeah. vetting? Loyalty. Is guys that what's been happening? Is it you it. always go for the guy who's it's been with you, even if everybody else told you this is not a good idea because it's going to raise red flags over two issues, Lieberman and Russia? Yeah, but you know what? In the words of Aristotle, this is also just a whole lot of dumb. Like, really? Yeah. Just a whole lot. Uh, was it stupid? No, that's important. Unnecessary. Actually, a whole bring lot that up, stupid. Joe. stupid. No, I mean, you look at the things that he's done, and everybody's like, oh, he's so evil. He's so. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's evil. I don't see it. I just see a guy that is clueless. He's yeah. like he's like Mr. Magoo, but Mr. Magoo trying to shred the United States Constitution. And all of our, our well, norms. By mistake. I mean, we could go back over what he's done over the past couple of days. I know. This is dumb. Yep. I, I did not mention Israel. Yeah. I oh. did not mention Israel. I have just revealed I just like, got back from the, the Middle East. The, 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 the fact, you know, that I, that I did screw Israel, but I did not mention Israel. And then <sighs> he's, he's in Israel. And he goes, oh hey, I just got to tell you guys, I just got back from the Middle East. I tell you, it was lovely. The Saudis are lovely. Poor Ron Dermer. Yeah, did she, Ron? Yeah, yeah Ron, like, he's like, I'm working with this guy? What? what? But that happens every day. And, and, Choices like this. That's his defense. What? Stupidity? Yeah. I thought ignorance I wasn't I, a defense. I didn't know. But I think since he started his campaign almost two years ago, he has enjoyed and gotten off in some ways on pissing everybody off. And he knows when he sits down and he makes a decision like this, there are people who told him, hey, Joe Lieberman, the guy you've mentioned, yeah. might be your pick to be the FBI director as a partner here. That might not look good. And they've represented Russia. I think there's an element of Trump still that says... But Screw all I them. Mean, screw here's the, the media. Problem, screw everybody. Though, I think Jim, it's comfort. It it may be comfort, and he may want to stay in his little cocoon that he was in. But here's a problem: he's facing legal jeopardy now, and he has been told by everybody around him, "You better get a good lawyer. You've, you're, you're in legal jeopardy. 
people very close to you are in legal jeopardy. Are you sure he's being told this by yeah. people around him? I mean, yes. I don't know. Yes. The, the group around him looks kind of. Yes. I mean, I, who are you talking about? I, I, Jared, Ivanka? Are you talking about Steve Bannon? Are you talking about Spicy? I, I'm telling you. I don't think these people know. I'm telling you, everybody their inside. Their heads from their feet. E everybody in there knows that I, things got a lot that. more serious last week and they're getting lawyers. I don't think so because I honestly don't think they'd be posting Instagrams of themselves modeling. Honestly, if they knew that they were in really big trouble, they wouldn't be walking around like blowing bubbles. Well, they Jared, don't look like they think they're in any trouble. Well, Jared looks pretty good. I mean, there's uh, not, like but they with, know, with his it is, suits, yes, very, they're saying that, but there is nobody that he listens to in his life. It's why he keeps going back to these comfort foods. One of the biggest yeah, wait, wait, do you, do you not McMaster, think he he's knows? on McMaster's national security advisor because he doesn't like the discipline he put in the national security process, and he openly talks to staff about how he'd like to get Flynn back. Jim, the security do you council. not think, comfort. do you not think that he understands, have you not heard reporting that he understands that he could be in legal jeopardy? He, he understands it in for a second, and then he moves on. Like, then he gets filled with grievance, and he can't be controlled. There's nobody around him. There's not a single person, not Jared, not Ivanka, who can sit him down and no get one. him to be this, consistently disciplined over a sustained period of time. Um, he won against all the conventional wisdom, and I think he still believes, despite the chaos of the last four months, that he should defy conventional wisdom if he's going to be successful, because it was doing that that got him the presidency. So when he's told, uh, you should do things properly the way the master's trying to do it should be systematized and he feels that's not what works for him he, he likes doing things differently and and the last four months don't seem so far to have taught him that a certain amount of conventional wisdom might actually produce more results the only thing is when you have bob Mueller going to his desk every morning and doing what bob Mueller is doing every morning uh, getting information, turning over every single stone, you better realize the game has changed. And if he doesn't, he'll end up, he'll, he or people close to him will end up uh, in as tenuous a situation as uh, General Flynn is in right now. Because General Flynn, uh, I don't think they're going to give him immunity. I think they're just going to squeeze him and squeeze him and squeeze him. This is yeah. not, we, uh, we, somebody was on Hardball last night, Mickey, you were talking yep. about, that said, do not give him immunity. Yes. Don't, do, don't do an Ollie North deal. Squeeze him. Right. And there's a lot of squeezing to be had with, with General Flynn. Flynn. When it comes to legal issues, he's like Charmin. He I just know. keeps squeezing. Mm -hmm. And, and no. you don't know what's going to come out. You know Donald Trump genuinely feels that there was no collusion between him personally and Russia. Mm -hmm. And so he feels liberated mm -hmm. to say, bring it on. And mm -hmm. that's what he's doing right now. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.